Good afternoon, good evening, and good night, everybody. You're watching Five Girls Five Minutes, where five girls talk for five minutes and don't edit their videos. I am Tara. I'm making a video before I sit down and actually remember, or rather, before I sit down and forget that I was supposed to make a video because that almost happened just now. Um, I'm feeling better, so thanks for those of you guys who were a little concerned. Um, it was pretty gnarly. I had allergies because here in Albuquerque in the springtime, it gets really windy and it knocks all kinds of pollen all over the place. And it was the juniper counts were really high, and my whole nose was pretty much just stopped up, blocked completely. And then that kind of mutated into a cold, which was just stupid and awful, and I hated it. But thankfully, that's over. Um, I still have a little bit of nosy congestion and it sucks when I try to sleep but other than that for the most part I'm fine so that's good um I wanted to talk a little bit this week um I had just I just came from a really interesting conversation my friends and I were out at this awesome restaurant it's a local restaurant chain called Flying Star which is kind of like a coffee shop kind of place but also serves really yummy food um, and beer. They have beer there. And we were just having a, a good conversation because a lot of us have either worked with children or have worked in education and, or are just starting to work in education and are just kind of realizing that there's like huge differences between like the way that we were raised and the way that the kids that we work with are raised. And it was just really interesting because there's a lot of things that you don't really, you take, you kind of take for granted. You kind of take a, just that, you, you think that everybody does these things. Everybody, everybody's parents do things the same way, at least to a certain degree. And then there's such, you know, there's societal norms and stuff like that where, you know, you think that everybody should just know that you know, it's not okay to cuss somebody out, or it's not okay to start a fight with somebody, or it's not okay to just not come to school because you don't feel like it, or things like that. And we were just talking about it, and you know, most of the people that I'm friends with, you know, yeah, sure, we are all raised by different people, and our parents all did different things with us, and had different um, approaches. Heck, all the people that I live with, we all were born in completely different parts of the world. I mean, I have a roommate from Tennessee and a roommate from England, plus I, I live in New Mexico and I'm from Indiana, and all of us on this channel are from different places, and some of us have moved different places and lived different places, and we're all Americans, but, you know, we still, you know, we have similarities, but we're obviously we're very different. And so, I guess what I was kind of thinking, it made me think about some of the things that I take for granted, like the fact that my parents were both really involved in my life when I was in high school and college, like they were really concerned about my grades, always wanted to talk to my teachers, wanted to make sure I was doing extracurricular stuff, um, wanting to make sure that I had a good social life, that I was socialized properly, um, that I was not just hanging out at home doing nothing or watching TV all the time. Um, my my parents didn't let me have everything that I wanted. They made me work for things. They made me um, earn. I had to earn an I, had, I earned my allowance. If I didn't do my chores, then I didn't get the money for it. And I had to save for a lot of things. I mean, my parents are both really generous people and they want the best for me and like now that I live I'm 28 years old and I live 1500 miles away sometimes I need help and they'll help me but I know because they raised me that way that the world is not just gonna hand me stuff I'm gonna have to work for it and I don't even like taking handouts for my parents I really hate it when they, you know, my mom was like, oh, well, I'll help you pay for your bills or whatever. I'm like, no, I need to learn to be responsible for my own money. And it, the kids that I work with, like some of the kids that I work with and some of the kids that I deal with and interact with on a daily basis in high school, they just don't have those kind of skills. And even some adults, and, you know, I hate to plug myself into that adult category, but even some grown people have, like, a sense of entitlement and a you know, just a skewed worldview and don't really understand how the world works. 
and it's just strange to me it's weird to think and so I guess I kind of this week I just wanted to talk about that because it was something that I really had an interesting time thinking about was just you know what are some things that your parents gave you or the, some of the things that your parents raised you to believe that you think are really important that you're looking forward to being able to use as you grow up because you know a lot of us are in kind of weird limbo lands between like being self-sufficient and being kids and dependent on our parents so I just kind of wanted to know what you guys' thoughts are on that so hope I haven't been too boring but I gotta go and have a great week. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>